Here's a special tidbit about the laws of physics related to sound. It's called the Fletcher-Munson curve, or equal loudness contours. Fletcher and Munson were a couple of scientists in the 1930s who were studying human hearing and the fact that humans don't hear frequencies the same way at different volumes. When something is louder, we hear the frequencies differently than when it's played back more quietly. This means that human hearing is non-linear. When we listen to the same sound but louder, our ears actually hold down the mid-ranges and turn up the highest and lowest frequencies. This is an evolutionary tactic designed to protect our eardrums. Our ears are the most sensitive to mid-range frequencies, something we developed to be able to distinguish voices and speech. And so when we hear higher sound pressure levels or louder volume, our ears protect themselves in that most sensitive range. And then when we hear the same sound but quieter, our brain turns up the mid-range and turns down the lows and the highs. It's the same evolutionary tactic at work to help us distinguish speech and voices over other quiet sounds. So here's our frequency response graph showing a sound that's pretty flat across the spectrum from 20 to 20, showing it at 80 dB SPL, a nice average listening level, which also happens to be the SPL level at which our hearing is flat or linear. Now, if we make that sound louder above 80 dB, let's say 100 dB, our brains will perceive the higher and lower frequencies as louder than the mid-range. And then if we make that sound quieter, let's say 50 dB, our brains will hear less of the highs and lows and more of the mid. So you can see how this would be valuable to keep in mind when you're processing audio and making decisions on how it sounds. Always be thinking about how loud the sound is that you're working on and how loud it will be in the finished product. And remember that the way that you perceive it while you're working on it could affect the way that it's perceived by the listener when you're done. This concept of Fletcher Munson and equal loudness contours was so important to me that I even named my cat after it. 